<laughs> but yeah, look at this. This is insane. So this is normal difficulty. Um, in case you were wondering. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be playing Risk of Rain 2. So it's recently come out of early access. It's now version 1. I've played about 12 hours-ish of the game. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty well experienced, I think. Uh, I know what's going on. It's not my first rodeo. Uh, as you can see, I've unlocked a few of the characters. There are quite a decent amount of characters already. Uh, but we're going to play with the default guy. This will be like your experience of the game. You'll be playing as the commando first. Every character's got their own abilities. Uh, we've got, you know, the commando here. He's got double tap. He's got phase around. And they're just bound to our keys. You'll see them later. We can do a run with different difficulties. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to jump straight in. Get to the good stuff really quickly here. So you can see my abilities in the bottom right. This is a roguelite game, or sorry, a roguelike game. Um, so you, when you die in a run, that's it, you restart. Uh, okay, we do like no damage to start with. Uh, and basically you're gonna get stronger. The enemies will get stronger probably too. And uh, you, you keep going until you die or not. So I'm using a bunch of my abilities there. There are these crates that are lying on the floor. There's a lot going on at once. I'm going to try and explain it all as we go. Uh, there's these crates that will be lying on the floor, which will give us abilities. As you see, we kill enemies, we get money. Uh, which is money's in the top left, so it's, I've got 30, so I can open that crate. So you can start, um, you can see in the top right-hand corner, it says stage one. And then it's, you know, counting the time. And we've got the difficulty there. Uh, turn invisible on taking heavy damage so that's pretty cool I'm just gonna move past this section so what will happen is the enemies will continue to spawn right now they're spawning easy enemies at like an easy rate um, and it will get tougher as we go so I, I do want uh, I do want 40 at least so I can pay for this this thing will follow me around and heal me hopefully and now as the enemies get tougher. Yeah, this is a healing drone, so it heals me, which is nice. So I could stay here forever, right? I could stay on level one, and I could just kill enemies and make bank. But I can't carry my money across to the next stage. There'll be a boss at the end of this sort of section, and hopefully we'll find that at some point. Uh, so you can't... There's really no real advantage to that. All that will happen is that the enemies will get tougher and tougher and tougher, and... Uh, well, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be some bad news bears. So let's see this. These guys, these guys are definitely tough. I haven't picked up any damage buffs yet. As you can see, this character is much more of a like a fast, periodically releases healing. I've got lots of healing, which is nice. It's a high rate of fire sort of character. So we want to find items which like proc on hit um, because we hit a lot. Fifty. And so, uh, yeah, as, as we go through the stages as well, the uh, sort of cost of those crates will increase. Uh, so you'll, uh, you know, you can't just find... <clears throat> um, yeah, you can't just find like, find stuff super easily. So, okay, we're going we're gonna to press on here. So why do I like this game? Well, it's kind of weird. It's... Uh, oh, I just got shot from behind. It's, it's kind of chilled, it's kind of relaxed, like you're seeing right now, like the gameplay is not that intense. And it, it, it certainly can get really intense. Um, and I'll stop talking here for a sec so you can enjoy some of the music, but... Um, it's got a really nice chill vibe to it. Even though what's happening on the screen can be like really intense. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a really nice feeling. Um, and then as you get later on, it obviously it gets really intense. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of like scanning the area. I'm looking for more things to buy, which we have found like none. There's some stuff down there that we haven't seen. So we'll probably want to drop down at some point. Uh, but you've got to explore the level. So it's the same landscape. So stage one always looks like this, but the enemies that spawn, where items are, where the like end boss location is, is all randomized. Which is cool. Um, it is also multiplayer. You can play this game with your friends. I, I wonder if we can drop. I wonder if it'll just straight up kill us. I'm going to try and dodge roll before we land and see if it just kills us. 
It does not. We're pro. We're pro. So yeah, I played about 12 hours of this game and then I sort of come back uh, once they announced version 1. Let's see what we get here. Teddy bear. Chance to block incoming damage. Yeah, we've got a lot of like defense items, but we don't really have any damage, which is fine. We'll, we can find damage later on. Like this guy's hitting me. Okay, not too bothered. You can see some enemies are like there. That that dude was like a champion, so he takes a little bit more to kill. He gives us a little bit more ammo. Um, and so yeah, I'm just looking for more items basically. There's a stack of unhelpfully. There's a stack of healing, which I don't I don't honestly think we need. Um, so I do, I do like the way as well. Uh, use your 3D printer. That'll consume an item to like give you an, like a new item. We haven't got that many items, so that's not great for us. This dude's pretty cool. Got a little shooty drone. So there's a lot of there's a lot of bad guys. So yeah, the things I like about it, you get um, with new characters, your gameplay style changes quite a lot. Like there's a guy with a sword uh, who's really awesome to use. Feels really great to move around the map. There's um, a lady with a bow who has like a auto hit. This guy's really satisfying. I mean, the, the whole like dodge roll hit scan weapons are always, uh, you know, always a blast. <clears throat> I did not mean to do that. Uh, but we could really do with some damage and we could also, you know, I would be unafraid to fight the boss at this stage because we're not getting very good stuff dropping for us. Um, so we're going to head down this way. Um, so this is, I guess, of all of my gripes, and you know, there's going to be one. This is, a, you know, this is me talking about a game. So I'm always, I'm always going to talk about things I don't like. It's, it's this part of it. So it's a part where it's not really by choice, because um, you know, I understand that there's a, like a gameplay choice in like hanging around and farming up and getting stuff. It's not really my choice right now to do that, but I can't find the exit. So I'm kind of uh, reduces cooldowns of your skills. That's great. That's an awesome item. As you can see, they get like strapped strapped to your body, which is pretty cool. So by the <laughs> by the end of the run, uh, we'll have just a whole stacks of items just uh, strapped to our backs. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I don't know where the exit is. Um, and I have seen the bug. You know, it bugged once back in the. Uh, early access days where it just spawned in a really terrible place and I just could not see it. Um, so yeah, I would like to leave, but you know, the game hasn't really given me that option, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know where, I'm like backtracking now, like hoping to find it so I can spawn in the boss. Um, and it's making me extremely worried that I have missed it, uh, but you know, because uh, we're back, we're back into this um, zone. I feel like we've been everywhere. Um, so you know, that's that's just a typical me. I do a video on something, and uh, it doesn't go my way. <laughs> I mean, I've got a whole heap of drones, which is pretty great. I will go up this way because I think this is like the last place we haven't been. Um, and it's also multiplayer. You can play this game with your friends. I actually prefer to play it on my own. And that's no offense to my friends. Um, but the items are shared, or they were shared last time I played. So as of as of this recording, the last time I played it, um, the items were shared amongst your friends. So there's nothing here either. Great. <laughs> this is um, this is maybe average. This may be, you know, exactly like what your first game will be like. Um, but it's totally random, right? Like it can go either way. So you see what I mean? We're just creaming these enemies and we're making ridiculous money, but I'm not being I'm not able to spend it on anything because there's no um, no canisters to spend it on. So that's really disappointing. So we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna leave. Is this it here? Oh lordy. Okay, nobody's saying nothing, okay? It's difficult to talk and play games at the same time. <laughs> okay, so we spawned a boss. So this is a spawn boss encounter. So this is the stone titan. So my strategy here is I'm going to make sure he can't shoot me. I'm going to keep an object between me and him at all times so his big laser doesn't um, doesn't melt me. Although we've got a whole heap 
of ads here. So I'm going to have to try and clear some of these ads out. But, you know, getting kind of screwed with my items has been really rubbish because I've not got any damage. As you can see, these enemies are running absolutely rampant. Um, unbelievably, our drones are doing work. They, they are keeping them occupied and we're not getting hit too much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, look at this. This is insane. So this is normal difficulty. Um, in case you were wondering. Um, they might have ramped it. They might have seriously ramped it. Uh, they might have seriously ramped it in um, in one version 1.0. Because I mean, look at the look at the lizard people. There are there are, there's a lot of lizard people running around. So let's work over the boss a little bit. Um, you have to stay within this like red ring. You can see that's kind of here. This uh, sort of allows the progression. So if it was really bad and you were just literally trying trying to survive. You can, you can just pop that. You could stay in here and just leave, basically. Look at the enemies. Good lord. They've definitely, like, made this tougher, for sure, for sure. I do not remember it being so intense. Ooh, getting lasered, right. Yeah, this is insane. So, we're into medium difficulty as well, which is fun. So, we're going to keep working over the boss. Did you get hit? Are my drones... Well, the drones are dying slash almost dead. Let's work over the boss, work over the boss, work over the boss. I think we'll take out the boss here. I'm going to pick up the green, which we needed. And then we're just going to leave, hopefully. <laughs> Goodbye. Good lord. Well, we're out of phase one. That was, that was horrendous. That was truly horrendous. So we're here at the wetland aspect. So as you can see, I've got no money. Uh, we're on medium, medium difficulty. So I'm back to needing to farm a little bit. Three of my healing drones survived. Um, and yeah, I mean, I know I said it was a casual game. I feel like they've definitely upped the difficulty since I last played it. Um, which is fine. I I'm totally cool with that. Like, it, um, when you're playing with your friends, it's definitely a bit of a... Oh, these guys suck. And in fairness, uh, you know, this is a run where I've gotten all drops being defensive and healing um, although that said you know I feel like they have dropped like they've lowered the rate at which like boxes are in the environment for you to purchase like look at this there's nothing here which sucks um, it was much more fun being able to just like run around and pick stuff up though these sort of caches that drop money they're all over the place um, and maybe, you know, maybe we're just getting a bad seed. And uh, that be the way it rolls. Um, which is also fine. So yeah, it's a blast playing as, as with your friends. Uh, I've never had a bad time. Uh, it's an interesting, like, problem when you're trying to, like, divvy up the items. You know, you have to sort of... Uh, sort of say hey maybe maybe you leave that one for me which is yeah it can be awkward right it's not not the most ideal thing you know, look, more healing drones ah oh, dear i'll tell you what i'll tell you what you want to show off a game and you get given no damage items or cool items you get given only healing drones i don't i don't understand look at the piddly damage and it's a character who doesn't do great base damage right he hits a lot uh, there are some characters that obviously hit hit you know they slap out the gate but this this guy does not so red box here does denote a damage increasing item of some kind so that's pretty cool let's let's pick that up it's gone up in price chance to get critical strike dealing double damage Okay, so we're, we're dealing some crit hits. So there we go. That's a, that's a good item for us. <laughs> Unbelievably. Sometimes you'll see, like, the red numbers pop. And that's us hitting a uh, critical strike. So, I guess, in the classic... Uh, unbelievably, I haven't got enough money for that. In uh, classic roguelike... Uh, right. Roguelite fashion. I'm just going to uh, constantly move sometimes dodge rolling 
And I guess this is a sort of reason why this game's quite casual in my eyes, right? Like, what I'm doing right now is not, like, hardcore. Uh, it, you know, it's not, you know, this isn't mind-blowing. Oh, cool, so this is one of the choice where we get to choose, like, an item. Uh, I'm actually going to go with this one. Um, because I feel like it's the best of those three. Essentially, this just gives us like a little temporary shield there, like when we're killing things, which, based on the hordes that were spawning in the last area, uh, that could be real useful for us. Uh, so at this point, again, I'm just looking for the exit. Uh, I don't really want it to go in too hard. Difficulty in the top right. Ooh, that guy froze me, which sucks. Um, because then the boss will spawn and it's uh, a little harder, which is uh, which is not always ideal <laughs> when you've only got a few damage buff items. So yeah, so we're looking around. Um, so yeah, I put about 12 hours into the game. Um, what they added in version 1, they added sort of start content, so there's like a starting cutscene and stuff. Um, there's a few new characters, as you saw in my screen, I needed to unlock those. And uh, there's end game, game content now, like you actually can finish a run, which you never used to be able to, it was just like you would just go on endlessly. Uh, which had a, you know, it was fun, fun enough, but uh, you kind of want that finality, so... I'll be exciting, to, it'll be exciting to see that. I doubt we'll make it that far today. Again, I just wanted to like show off the game. Really, I kind of want to recommend it. I don't want to spoil it for people. Is this a dead end, or is this? Uh, it's a dead end. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not like you know before you couldn't really spoil it, right? You could just hey check this game out. And you can just play it. It's fun. It's a romp with your friends too. Like, um, but yeah, I guess if it's got you know end game content, that's interesting. So there's also um, you wouldn't know it from the gameplay so far, but there is um, like droppable. Sorry, usable items. We've only found passives so far, but this thing, ooh, this thing will give us actual usable item. Whether it's good or not is another question. It's great. Um, it's a it's a toggleable um, minigun, which will spend our money as uh, bullets, which is really good against the boss. Um, especially we get lots of uh, on-hit effects, which I'm going to hopefully get another one here. Which increases my chance to hit. So I'm going to clear out some of these enemies, or do my best to. Before we rock into the uh, into the boss here. Because we're already in hard, so it's like tough... Tough news. So the war banner here, it just means I like shoot faster and um, I get take less damage maybe? Whilst I'm inside it's like aura. It pops up every time I like uh, reload, so it's... Um, every time I level up, sorry. So that's pretty cool. No, I want to get out of there, and I've been frozen. Okay, I'm gonna spot, I'm gonna pop the boss. I'm gonna pop the boss. Let's see what hell we're about to unleash upon ourselves here. Okay, so it's this guy again. So I'm popping my uh, minigun here. I'm gonna hide behind a wall. So you can see how much that thing slapped, but it emptied all my money. But this is fine. I uh, I'm not a man who cares about money at this point in the game. We are just trying to kill the boss, and we don't carry over money, if you remember. So, one downside about this character is he does not pack AoE. I mean, look at that pack of enemies. Like, I would love to throw out some AoE abilities into that lot. I picked up a bandolier, um, and we're just waiting for the timer. You see, it's like 43. I've basically got to survive, and I should be standing inside the, um, the war banner aura here. So I'm just using my minigun as I got it. Um, I might hold on to it here. Um, basically, any money you don't use gets turned into XP, which I can't exactly remember the actual purpose of levels here. Um, I think, does it just give me some base stat increases? Um, the more astute of you have probably noticed whether my damage numbers are going up or not. Um, so 82% complete here. And it does scale with people, by the way, like, you know, um, if you get, like, three of your buddies together, it won't be like this. It'll be three times worse, <laughs> uh, which is cool, which is really cool. 
So, 98. Okay, so we're done, technically. I, I, I do want to see what... What in Lord's name this was? It's another healing drone. I'll, uh, I'll buy it. Sold. And we're just going to straight up leave. We're going to straight up leave. So we've got a pretty good build going. I mean, we could do with more on-hit effects. I mean, you could always do with more on-hit effects. And, yeah, we're just going to see. We're going to keep going. This is a general gist, though. Um, Scorched Acres. We've got some really cool environments in this game. Um... $135. So I want to want to have some enemies spawn for us so we can buy up. Look at this. We've got two crates in one section. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. So yeah, the crates like cost, like entry cost, cost a little bit more uh, at each stage. You see we're on uh, very hard at the moment. So I'm um, Expecting some spicier enemies. Look at our dude. He's got some shades <laughs> He's got a knife in his back. He's got a massive Gatling gun. I need some more enemies to spawn. Come on He gave me absolute hordes earlier Also, we've got these horrible teleporting enemies uh, in this zone Which you know you gotta you gotta love to hate them So nice they do stack all your items do stack uh, mostly Um Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, you, most of your effects stack, so if you find, like, you know, you want to... Your crit chance or something increases. Uh, you want to pick up as many of those things as you can. So this is annoying. We're finding loads of boxes now, but nobody to kill. Thank you, game. Hello. Yes, yes. I would like your money, please. Um, don't ask me about the, uh, you know, the s story reasons why I can, like, purchase items with the, uh, the corpses of my enemies. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Chance to stick bomb. Again, another great item for us. Because we hit so often, the chances of that popping is high. So we've got a blood bleed effect. All of the things like that are just straight upside. And oh my goodness, the box is so far away, but we're doing it anyway. So we've had a couple of absolutely roasting days in the UK, um, and it's still continuing to be absolutely roasting. So um, <laughs> that's been okay. Another bomb, a sticky bomb. So this thing will—it's great. It does a lot of damage. It's the first time we've seen this enemy as well. I think he just does a ground pound. Big bullet sponge. Thank you very much, sir. So yeah, great. So we're making some cash. So yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of like, once I get to an okay strength, I want to chase the clock. Like I want to I want to make sure I beat, find the boss sooner rather than later. Um, generally speaking, I think if you're min-maxing, there's probably like a right way of playing it or whatever. But um, I found that that's it's never done me wrong. It's never done me wrong. Cool. So I don't actually, I'm assuming that increases our chance. You can see there's like in the bottom left, it tells you what items you picked up and what they do. Um, I think, I think it will stack the uh, sunglasses. It's not a, uh, whoa, that dude's packing a minigun. So yeah, as you go to different areas, obviously you get different enemy variety, which is pretty cool. What is this 3D printer? What is this thing? I have no idea. Gain access to a lockbox. I have no idea what this is. So... There's the boss. We'll remember this for later. Oh, we took a lot of hits there. Our drones are working overtime to keep us alive. We're working this guy over. He's a bit of a bullet sponge. You can see there's bombs sticking to him. No, no, no. We've got 13 stacks of bleed on him as well. <laughs> So he'll be worth more money, right? Like you see the gold bars that drop out of in the XP. Uh, not all enemies are created equal. Uh, we will... I don't know what this is. This looks like a thing. Scrap items. Um, no. I don't think I will. 
again. I don't. Let's let's go see what that thing is before we. Uh, oh, let's not walk towards the minigun man. Okay, we out DPS him. That's fine. What's this thing? Open adaptive chest. Another war banner. Okay, fine. I'm gonna pop the boss. This is danger zone. We might not get out of this one alive. But hey, you know. So I'm gonna pop my uh, cannon. My Gatling cannon. This guy is throwing out uh, a serious amount of stuff at us. Oh, this too. This too. This de that that thing on the right is also a bad guy. Oh, the damage! Okay, that's that's one down. Um, I did not even realise there was another one on this side of the map, so that's slightly terrifying. We're just working him over. We're working him over. I'm trying to just ignore these dudes on the left who are like constantly ground pounding. Uh, oh no, that's that's not good. I'm trying to like hide behind the environment. Please, leave me alone. You can you can definitely see the advantage of any AOE here would be um, really good. Alas, we are not so lucky. Uh, okay, cool. Open up the Gatling gun again. I should not stand still here, but you know. Oh, that was risky. But you know, headphones, headphones. Oh! The clutch, the clutch. <laughs> the healing drones, we moaned about them earlier, but now they're, <laughs> they're literally holding us together. <laughs> yeah, I just like to keep it spicy, you know. It's, uh, it's a curse. Um... So we get a green item for that one as well. Slow enemies on hit. Another great little one. I'd love more DPS. But, hey. You can't hate it too much. We are, we are out of here. Not bad. Not bad. Um, ciao. <laughs> Oh no, that's a, that's a fire-breathing uh, lizard dude. We're, we're going to take the high road here. Okay, so... Whoa! This dude means business. We are, we are going to keep a wide berth of him. So our like, little uh, right-click there, our um, little multi-hit, acts as a kind of stun, which is pretty cool against those enemies. I don't know what these bird things do either, so let's cut those down. <laughs> what have we got over there? Hmm. Not interested. Not interested. How much does this thing cost us? 423! We're poor! We are officially poor. Okay, okay. Um, you know what? I'm just going to turn that guy on. He can shoot the... Uh, the birds out of the sky for me. That's just like a emplacement you can buy and it just sort of stays there. Um, so yeah, this is Risk of Rain 2. Like, I'm not going to play too much more, I don't think. Uh, maybe maybe I'll get absolutely smoked on the next boss. Because uh, I don't feel very strong in this run. Um, but it's a great game. It's really fun. Like, like I said, it's like weirdly casual for me. Like, I can sort of just like mindlessly uh, dodge roll and uh, shoot things, uh, which is really fun. And it's a great blast with your friends, like, uh, it is, it's cool to, uh, you know, try and build, um, like, get a, a combination of things going, you know, one character's got the stun, one guy's got the AoE, and trying to, like, build up your, get the items here. It's really cool. There's also a stack of, like, hidden stuff, um, you know, to unlock characters, there's a lot of, like, hidden objectives, it's not, like, you know, it's not all just, just this. Um... Which I really like. I really appreciate that sort of stuff in uh, in these games. It keeps keeps the replayability up, you know. Who broke my legs? Yeah, I also haven't picked up any like um, movement stuff. Uh, more co more cooldowns on the alien head is pretty great. Um, and it's worth noting it works very similar to a lot of similar roguelikes in that. The best you do in runs means you unlock certain items that you're likely to see in like another run. So you you know, for example, you might not have the alien head. That might have been something I got through an achievement or whatever. 
and that's why I see it in runs now. Um, you know, it works very similar, exactly that same same way. Um, which again, I like. It, you know, it really adds to the rear play, play a little bit, the rear playability of things, which is cool. Like for example, I know in this level, I mean, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but there's a way of like fighting these orbs that are in the middle. Here, they look like they're just part of the map, right? Yeah, they're just part of the map, but they're not. They're uh, they're a secret boss that you can fight. Um, so maybe a, maybe a small spoiler there, but like, <laughs> you go figure it out. So it's pretty cool. Um, so I think you know this might do it here for uh, for Risk of Rain Two. Uh, I've I've enjoyed showing you the game. I think kind of what I want to do with this series is just hey, these are games that I'm enjoying to play right now, uh, and this is a this is a casual one that I like to play. So you know, check it out. Um, let me know what you think, uh, and if you've got any other like suggestions for uh, games that I can play, just let me know. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's all. While, while these bugs and aliens and squids and all sorts of hell tries to uh, tries to bring me down here, uh, thanks for joining me on Risk of Rain Two, and I'll see you for the next video. See you guys. Bye bye.